Hi, this is Mark with Ozen Engineering, and in this video, I'll show you how to resolve an error message related to HPC license settings in the ANSYS Electronics desktop. HPC stands for High Performance Computing, which is an important part of performing large engineering simulations. ANSYS offers HPC licenses in several configurations that enable the use of additional CPU cores above the four cores that are included with the base solver license. These additional cores can be used to solve a single design even faster, or to solve multiple parametric variations, frequencies, or time steps in parallel. One popular option is to purchase HPC pack licenses, where each pack multiplies the number of additional enabled cores by a factor of four. The first pack enables eight additional cores, the second pack enables 32 additional cores, the third pack enables 128 additional cores, and so on. The four cores that are included with the base solver are then added to obtain the total number of cores available in each case. This option provides a scalable cost model for applying a very large number of cores to a given simulation. For example, running a model on 2,000 cores instead of 100 cores only requires the use of two additional HPC packs. The solvers in the electronics desktop, including HFSS, Maxwell, Q3D, and Icepack, can take advantage of these HPC licenses. For this example, I'm showing a bandpass filter modeled in HFSS. A common error message that you might see in the message manager window is that there's not enough HPC parallel licenses, and this will prevent the simulation from running with the specified number of cores. We can specify the number of cores that the solver should use by going to the simulation ribbon and then clicking on HPC options and then the edit button. In this case, I've set the number of cores to eight, which requires one HPC pack. To solve this error, we should specify the use of HPC packs if that's the type of licenses that you're using. To do this, we can go to the options pane and change the HPC license setting from pool to pack. Then we click OK, and we go back and press Analyze All for this example model, and it runs successfully. So I hope this video was helpful. If you're using HPC pack licenses in the electronics desktop, and you're seeing this type of error message. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to our channel, give a thumbs up to the video. Thank you and have a great day.